Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, the next small topic is this one itself. Expected return of the portfolio. How we can calculate the expected return of the portfolio? Or simply we can say how we can estimate the expected return of the portfolio. So in this way you can do it. There is a small definition. The expected return of the portfolio is the weighted average of the return of individual securities. The weight applied to each security is, is the percentage of investment made by the portfolio. The expected return of the portfolio can be found out with the help of the following formula. Right? So what is expected return of the portfolio? Expected return is the same as we have discussed in the case of single security. But what is expected return of the portfolio? Expected return of the portfolio is equal to the weighted average of return of each security. For example, you made a portfolio of four you made a portfolio of four securities. How many securities? Four securities. Security A, Security B, Security C, and Security D. How can you calculate it as expected return? First of all, you have to calculate expected return of the securities, each individual security. For example, X, how much is the return of A? 10%. How much is the return of B? For example, 20%. How much is the return of C? It is 30%. And how much is the return of D? It is, for example, 40%. Return of each security should be multiplied to the proportion of investment. For example, out of your total capital, how much is invested in A? Let me give a simple example. For example, we have four securities. How many securities? Four securities. Let me explain here. For example, we have security A, we have security B, we have security C, and we have security D, right? Here, for example, for each security, there is a return. For example, return of A is 10%. Return of B, for example, 20%. Return of C is 30%. And return of D is equal to how many percentage? 40%. And of course, each of these returns should be multiplied to the proportion of investment. Proportion of investment means, for example, out of your total capital, how much is invested in A? For example, out of my total capital, 40% is invested in A. For example, 20 percentage is invested in this one. 30 percentage is invested in, for example, C. And let us say, for example, 10 percentage is just invested in this one. So the return of each security should be multiplied to the it is multiplied it to it is proportion of investment. And for this one, there's a formula. Expected return R bar R bar P. Why this time R bar P? Because it shows that it is expected return of the portfolio is equal to r into x what is r r means return of the portfolio so in this case this is r this is r this is r and this is r right so these are the r multiply to x what is x x means proportion of investment right and of course the total of your proportion should not be more than 100 percent and of course this one show your capital for example 20 plus this one 60 plus 90 plus 100 if this is in the form of percentage total should not be more than 100 if it is in the form of decimal, the total should not be more than 1. This one shows your capital. Of course, your capital cannot be more than 100 percentage. And uh, this is basically R, right? This is, we can say, R column. And this is basically X column. X column and R. And how to find out the R bar? R bar simply can be found out by multiplying R into, into X. R into X, R into X, and R into X. Finally, you can find out. If you remember in the case of single security, on that case, P, sorry, R bar was equal to R into P, right? That was R was again return and P was probability. But in this case, instead of probability, we have X, right? Or simply, we can say multiply to X. What is X? X is the proportion of investment. It means how many percentages invested in A security, in B security, and in D security, right? Simply, you can multiply. And you can get the expected return of the portfolio. In the next video, please watch the video, the example how to solve, uh, how to find out the expected return of the portfolio.